holidays, my friends. I am Pixel Dan. And I'm Stina. And it's day number 20. <laughs> On day number... We're a little late. All right. Apologies, guys. Life, life, life happened. Life happened. We're a little late, but the good news for you is you're about to get like three episodes in random succession, like boom, 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 because we're gonna catch up and we want creepy Santas we wanna talk about, we got toys we wanna open up, so we're gonna do this. We might be a little bit late, but we're gonna catch up right now and that way we'll be right on target as the advent calendars wrap up on Christmas Eve because we are so stinking close I now. Know. It is nuts, I can't believe how close we are to Christmas. I can't believe we are already almost done. I'm so nervous. I only have a half a day left of work. Yes. Well, you only have a half yeah, day of work. I only have one. I will get to go home early if I'm lucky. We'll see how so that you goes. Won't I will get probably be sitting there and nobody else is going to be in the office. I'm going to be like so bored. <laughs> it's going to be crazy. But yeah. We are very, very close. We are just really rapidly counting down today. So, since we got to get through three episodes, let's just jump right into it. My friends. It's creepy Santa time. Do it, Santa Claus. Do it, Santa Claus. Do it, Santa Claus. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, there you go. That's the best part. That's the best part. <laughs> All right, we'll stand creepy Claus up there in the front. And you guys have been piling on the creepy Santa, so let's start getting through some of these here with our very first email that says, hey there, Pixel Dan, Stina, and Dino Master Spencer. Yes. I love that. Dragon Phoenix 132 here, enjoying another amazing ad year of Advent Calendar Madness. This year it was not me who found a creepy Santa, but my girlfriend, Spooky Moose. I love that name. I love that name too. Spooky Moose. Here is her description of him. This larger than life creepy Santa was spotted at a local fabric shop near my hometown. This Santa is huge, probably six or seven feet tall. The pose is clever for a fabric shop. It's not clear from the picture. He is sitting on a stool, mending his red suit. And a lot of love clearly went into this display, but he creeps me out. <laughs> <laughs> not sure why, maybe something about the eyes or the way he towers over you. At any rate, I hope you like him. Happy holidays to you, love, Spooky Moose. Thank you again for sharing your family tradition with us. Spooky Moose starts dancing every time she hears the opening jingle. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> Wishing you and yours all the best. Best regards, Dragon Phoenix 132 aka Eric. All right, so let's check out Spooky Moose's pictures. I just like saying that name, Spooky Moose. Oh! Oh my god. Okay. There there's a big creepy Look at the fashion. way he's like staring at us. Like like he looks so He's like what do you want? He looks so exasperated that you're taking his picture. Like right? he is just like, really? Another one? <laughs> taking my picture without asking permission? Ho, ho, ho. That is amazing. And oh my goodness. Looks, oh my goodness. Like, I, he looks sick or something. Like, cause his hair, you know, isn't like nice and bushy. Yeah. His, his, it looks his a little beard stringy. And really like just flat. It's flat. It's, and, oh my gosh. That, yeah, there's a giant creepy factor to that. It's wonderful. I love it. Well, thank you both very much. Yeah, thank and I'm you. so glad you guys enjoy the show. Thanks for watching. All right, the next email says, Dear Dan, Stina, and Spencer. While out grocery shopping, my wife found this creepy Santa lantern. It looks like he's eaten all the cookies already. <laughs> Merry Christmas, William and Darcy. So this is the creepy Santa lantern yeah. that ate all the cookies. <laughs> All the cookies. He ate them all. His eyes are creepy. Cause, like they're just black holes. Right, and they're like close together, and they're sunken in because they yeah. like look like black holes. You're right. It's. I wonder if they're like for the lantern. I can't tell. They're, like they're the stars. So some light can come out. Yeah. I'm yeah. Ooh, that's a little weird. Yeah. If those were lit up, that would look really, really strange. Can you imagine the dark? <laughs> In the dark. In the dark. See, oh, That's man. all you see is the lights coming out of his eyes. Awesome. I love it. Thank you both so very yeah. much. All right. Next email says, Dear Dan and Stina, I'm a father of three, daughter age seven and two sons age four and one. Nice. Says, I've been watching your Advent Calendar Madness for a few years now and I've really enjoyed it, especially Creepy Santa, any Lego calendars. Uh, oh, Creepy Santa and the Lego calendars. 
The other day I was going through some old sayings for my childhood, some old things for my childhood and came across my childhood creepy Santa. So I thought I'd share it and a few other Santas with you. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to you and your family. Sincerely, Bill. P.S. I also enjoyed your segment on your friend and your old Ghostbusters toys. Nice. I remember some of those toys myself. I think I owned at least one of the action figures that you showed, and I believe some of my cousins uh, had a few of the others. So that is awesome. Nice. That was uh, the video that I did with Tyler for my Retro Gamer. So if you guys haven't seen that, uh, it was a really, really fun collaboration we did together. And I'm glad you enjoyed it. Thank you so much. All right, so this is his childhood <laughs> creepy Santa. Which oh is amazing. Oh my gosh. It's so amazing. But it's about to get more amazing. Are you ready for this? Wait, wait, wait. So, when, remember when Jasmine's hair would get all matted? That's oh. exactly what his beard Talking looks. about our old dog. Her hair totally did get matted like that. You're right. It looks like it needs that, groom. That is hilarious. Well, hold on, because we're not done with that yet. Oh. He sent a follow-up email that says, Thought you might want to see that childhood creepy Santa turned on. Oh, no. So it's not just this picture. We've got this fun little video here, too. <laughs> so short clip, but you get the sense that he's kind of got some creepy music going on yeah, with the creepy he's, uh, Santa. He's got something going wrong oh, with him. Oh, I love it so much. It just really reminds me of mine, and I think that's <laughs> great. Very cool. Thank you so much yeah, for sharing it. We love it. All right, the next email says, Merry Christmas, Dan, Christina, and Spencer. I'd like to say that your advent calendar has become a staple in our home to pump us up for the crazy holiday season. That is so cool. We are looking forward to be doing this with our son. He's currently a year old. Oh, that's I know, such a good year. Yeah, I know it is. One is so much fun. Mm -hmm. So I know we've sent a few Santas in the past. And New Hampshire seems to have some of the strangest things. Anyway, here is a rather large Santa that used to sit on a very busy road in my city and has made its way to a very small town in New Hampshire down a dirt road. Can we say I certainly would not want to wake up and see this guy outside my window? Wishing you and your family a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, Kevin and Nina. What is up with the eyes? Are they just like totally whited out? Or what's going on there? Oh my gosh, he's huge. Look how big he is, because look at these trees around him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that he's, is super he's creepy. creeping out. Creeping out of the woods? Out of the woods, oh. slowly and slowly. Oh my gosh, I love Have it. Have you been a good boy? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys very much. It's wonderful. That's a good one. All right, hey, this email says, Hey, Pixel Dan and family, I know you're a big Masters of the Universe fan. How'd you know? <laughs> I'm never. <laughs> I, I've grown up watching He-Man too. I had the toys. I went to 80stees.com to look for an ugly sweater for Christmas, and I saw this Skeletor one, and I knew I had to have it. So I did just that. Now, I am the proud owner of a Skeletor Claws sweater. I am not nice. I am not kind. I am not wonderful. I love it. He sent a picture of this sweater. ADCs.com, um, they're, they're friends of the channel, and we've definitely, I've worked with them in the past, and they have some really fun stuff. And that is amazing, because he's got Relay sitting right there on his shoulder, licking his cheek. Yep. And it says it right on the shirt. I am not nice. I am not kind. I am not, <laughs> I am not wonderful. I love it so much. That's my favorite part of that movie. Well, very cool. Thank you so much. Oh, I think that's uh, Brian sent that in. Thank you, Brian. Thank you. We appreciate it. Always, always love seeing fun stuff like that. All right, one more today. It says, hi, Dan and Stina. Happy holidays all the way from the UK. My submission for Creepy Santa has been with me since I was a child and currently resides with my mom and younger sisters until I can get it from my own house this coming year with my beautiful girlfriend. Oh, awesome. Aww. Congratulations. He brings a smile to the faces of all that see him. I hope he brings a smile to your faces too this Christmas. Thank you for the great content. Merry Christmas, Adam and Ellen. So this is the creepy Santa from his childhood with the door closed. Oh, surprise! Santa's on the toilet. <laughs> you know, we have blow-up ones like that here. So yeah, like those uh, inflatable yard decorations. Yeah. At, at one of the stores here, they've got like a display of those and one of them is an outhouse yep. and the door opens up and like Santa's <laughs> inside and Spencer thinks that is the funniest thing. I mean, yeah. like he will sit there and just watch it 
and laugh every time the door opens. Like he never gets tired of it. It makes you watch it too. It's so funny. He just wants to do it over and over. <laughs> hey, so speaking of Spencer, let's go ahead and send it on over to him. He's gonna be opening up his day 20 on the dinosaur advent calendar. So take it away, Spence. Hey buddy. Hi. Are you ready? Uh -huh. What number are you opening? 20? 20. All right, open it up. Let's see what we get. A piece of plant. <laughs> Another plant. Another plant? Another one. Is it like exactly the same as yesterday's? Uh-huh. Or is it another piece of yesterday's? It's not a piece. Oh, it looks like it's another piece from yesterday's plant. I bet it is. I bet this works just like your other plant, because it was like in sections. So here, let's bring in the pieces here. So that probably plugs into that. There you go. And then this probably goes on this, like that. Redesigned, there you go. That looks like the way it's supposed to be. There you go, buddy. You got a plant yeah. for your dinos. <laughs> well, we'll open up 21 tomorrow, okay? Okay. All righty. Bye. Bye. So he got another piece for that plant, and I thought that plant was already done. I didn't realize it was going to have another attachment. Yeah. So we're building a plant over the course he's, of days, and he doesn't seem to care too he's, much. Yeah, he's thrilled. <laughs> He's just like, okay. Yeah. At least he's I, not mad, though. He's he doesn't not, get upset. It's cool that he doesn't get upset. I just wish the dinosaur calendar had more dinosaurs. I just... Yeah. I feel like I feel like it's got a lot of interesting, like... I don't know. I mean, like, I like the environmental pieces. Those are cool. Except he's probably not really going to play with those much, no. you know? Like, one environmental piece was probably plenty. Yeah. Like, he, liked, he really likes the one uh, with the egg. Because right. it's like a nest for the egg, and he likes the egg, and he actually keeps the, the egg. egg on the nest. Oh, it has to stay Yeah, it has it. to stay there. So that one is cool. This one he seems less enthused with, because it doesn't like really go to the dinosaurs. It's right. just, just there. It's just a plant. So, I don't know. We'll see how it continues on. But now it is time to open up our advent calendars. So today, you're um, definitely getting I'm the box. I'm getting the box. <laughs> I'm gonna grab the something box. out of the box from Kevin over at SEO Toy Review. I will do Thomas Chaney. Which, by the way, they just did their live Christmas special and we had a little special cameo on it. So go check out their. They've got it broken up into parts because it was live. So now it's now it's available to watch and it's broken up into parts on their channel. So SEO Toy Review, go check them out. All right, day 20 of the Funko calendar. Oh, he's an angel. Look at that. I got James. James. Just a normal Aww. James. Yeah, look at little Freddy Funko as an angel. You know, I wonder if there's one dressed up like a Christmas tree. A Christmas tree? Yeah. That would be awesome. I'm excited to actually see what the last day is on this one. Do you think we'll get something like really special in the Funko one? Or do you think know. it'll just be another guy? I think it'll just be another you, guy, but I bet you he's like done up really good. It's been cool. not, it's been cool that, I mean, like we've gotten the little figures all the way through and I like that a lot. Okay, so we got a tiny box. Who do oh I my get? Gosh, this thing is ripping apart. Oh, what is his name? What is his name? What's the fox's name from Zootopia? Oh, what is his name? I can't remember his ah! name. I just dropped a piece and who knows where it went. I hope, oh, it's I, don't, right here. I, hope I don't need it. Okay. Is, this is gonna bug me because I know this. But I got the fox from Zootopia. That's pretty cool to get Zootopia once. Oh, I what like is, that. What is his name? I can't remember his name. I'm gonna build this thing. Give me your phone. Ah, where is it? It's underneath your box. It's underneath the box. I'm trying to work here. I'm sorry. I have. <laughs> I have, have to know. I have to know. This, this is one. totally what this, she does, by is... the way. She, she, when she like sees somebody that she recognizes in a movie or a TV show, she, she will go crazy if she doesn't just get on IMDb immediately and figure out who it is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not wrong, am I? That's totally no, what you do. No, you're not. 
but I can say the one thing that I am amazing at is if I see a character, I will automatically know if it's from house or not. She's got like this really weird like house. She's got house trivia, like the show House, the Doctor. Every time she sees somebody she recognizes from anything else, she's like, he was on house in this episode. And she'll explain exactly the episode. I'm like, what? How do you even know that? I don't know. It's not like I've watched house over and over and over again. It's That's super just, weird. His name is Nick. Nick. His name is Nick Wild. All right. What is going on here? What are you building? I don't know. You don't know. A ship again. Do you know what kind of ship? No. Okay, okay. I built a thing. Here it is. It's a thing. It's a thing. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what that ship is either. It looks, actually that one looks familiar. I just don't actually know. But there you go. All right, well, there's day number 20 and we're gonna move right on to day 21. So stay tuned for that video coming up soon. Until next time, my friends, I am Pixel Dan. See you real soon, I'm Cena. <laughs> See you real soon, K-E-Y. C-R-E-E-P-Y. Creepy claws, creepy claws. Forever we will hold our banner high, 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 high. Ha, ha, ha.